Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hot Topics with Let's Learn with Bruce and Friends. I'm Chief Communications Officer Corey Ryan, and here are some of Bruce's friends and our Leander ISD experts and with answers to some of our hot topics, the, the things that we know are in your hearts and on your minds in Leander ISD. First, let's start about talking with our uh, Senior Executive Director for Instructional Professional Learning, Susan Cole, about what are the focuses for professional learning for our Leander ISD staff? Hello, I'm Susan Cole, and I'm the Executive Director of Instruction and Professional Learning. And um, just giving you a few updates about our summer professional learning offered. So first of all, uh, we are offering everything in a virtual way. Some sessions will be synchronous, some asynchronous, and we also have a hybrid model. Um, there will be many sessions offered, some focused on technology integration, some sessions uh, more content specific or uh, instructional practices. We have um, sessions around leadership development and special program support and many, many more. Uh, so we're excited this summer to um, offer these sessions to our staff in Leander ISD. As we continue to plan for the 2020-21 school year, what is learning going to look like? There's a new idea or a, a new evolution of remote learning, and we're calling it virtual empowered learning. What is virtual empowered learning and what is happening for our instructional planning for the 2021 school year? Here's Chief Academic Officer Dr. Matt Bentz talking about virtual empowered learning. Hello, Leander ISD. This is Matt Bentz, your Chief Academic Officer, uh, coming to you right now to talk to you a little bit about instructional planning that's occurring over the summer. Uh, we all know that there's a degree of uncertainty about how school might open in the fall. And so we have a lot of people working in groups and working together to plan for all possible contingencies. What we do know is that no matter what scenario we find ourselves in, we will be ready based on building those contingencies. And we will be ensuring that each and every student has a high quality learning experience that enables them to master the grade level standards for, for their classes. Second, we will be following all health and safety standards to ensure that our students are safe and are healthy no matter what facilities opening scenario uh, that we, we are engaged in in August. Finally, we will be offering a new and improved online option called Virtual Empowered Learning which does build in the connectivity and interaction face-to-face -face between teachers and students and students and students that you have asked for in the surveys that we sent out to you. Congratulations again to the class of 2020 as we finished our school year and we are getting closer and closer to our July graduation dates. Is the district considering an outdoor option and what could that look like for July? Here's one of our high school principals, Christine Simpson of Rouse, to talk about what is being considered for high school graduations in July. Hello, Leander ISD. My name is Christine Simpson. I'm the principal at Rouse High School, and I am here today at Gupton on behalf of all six high school principals to announce after feedback and new information, we are adding a scenario four to our graduation options for July. Gupton will be added to the list of considerations. We will work together to ensure that every senior in Leander ISD has the safest, most traditional option for graduation in honor of the work they've done with us K through 12. We know that this is a difficult wait and we appreciate that our parents and students have given us feedback on these options and we know our students have sacrificed a lot. We don't want them to have to sacrifice the best possible graduation we could put out for them. Thank you and have a great day. What options are available for students for summer learning and how can students looking for enrichment or the ability to catch up access resources in Leander ISD? Here's our executive director for curriculum, Jennifer Collins, talking about just that. Leander ISD has a lot of options available this summer for our students who are interested in continuing their learning and their practicing over these summer months. For parents and students who are interested in learning more about our summer school options, you can find those online at leanderisd.org backslash summer school. But for our parents and students who are interested in just some additional summer learning, fun, and those kinds of opportunities, we do have a website specific for our elementary students called our Summer Learning Fun Site. On that site, 
our parents and students will be able to find ideas for continuing to practice and to have fun with some academics over the summer. We are also keeping our remote parent learning hub active over the summer and we're keeping that updated as well so parents can find ideas for content specific um, learning opportunities as well as technology, creativity, and some health and wellness ideas as well. So we encourage you to keep checking back on that website over the summer because we will keep that updated. And then just like always, our parents and students have continued access to programs like Khan Academy, IXL, um, Dreambox, um, iStation, lots and lots of different activities that could be um, continued to be used over the summer. Um, we do have information about our summer required assignments for our high school students online, as well as more information about summer reading for all. And we do encourage you to keep reading this summer because we do believe that that would be an activity that will pay off for all of our students. This wasn't the end of a school year that anybody wanted, but thanks to the teachers, the principals, the leaders in our schools and in our school communities, um, we were able to transition and end our school year with a bang and celebrate and add some normalcy as much as possible and community come together. Here's Area Superintendent Sarah Grissom talking about the end of the school year and the closing of our schools for the 2019-20 school year. Hello, I am Sarah Grissom, one of the Area Superintendents in LISD and have the honor of serving our 44 campuses. And while this year has ended in ways that no one could have predicted, what has been amazing to watch is how our campuses have made student connections right up to the very end. From virtual field days to virtual talent shows, from closing out on their final Zoom class chats um, to our graduation parades, our teachers and our campus leaders have worked hard to make sure that there are special moments as we are winding down this year. It is evident as you see pictures and heartfelt messages that our students and our families are missed terribly. And we look forward to the time when we can all be together again. What does the summer look like for our fine arts programs as we continue to try to keep students healthy and safe while also preparing for a 2020-21 school year? Here's Fine Arts Director Peter Warshaw talking about the summer for fine arts. Hello, Leander ISD, Peter Warshaw, Leander ISD Fine Arts Director here with you to answer a question about what our marching bands are planning on doing for the fall. At this time, we're waiting on further guidance from the University Interscholastic League as well as from the state of Texas to determine what our course of action might be in the fall. In the meantime, our directors are preparing for multiple scenarios, including uh, operating as normal or some uh, variation of what marching band season has looked like in the past. Stay safe and stay strong out there, everyone, and we'll see you soon. We're so excited to welcome our newest school to the LISD family this year. Danielson Middle School construction is going continuously fast and furious. Here's that school's principal, Mark Kohler, to give you an update about Danielson Middle School. Good afternoon, Leander ISD. My name is Mark Kohler. I'm the proud principal of Stacy K. Danielson Middle School. Leander ISD's ninth middle school opening up this fall. We are excited to invest, encourage, and impact all Bearcats the Stacy K way. Stacy K. Danielson was a beloved teacher in Leander ISD, and we hope we can live out her legacy in this beautiful building. Construction is finishing up and should be complete and be ready to go as we receive kids this fall. As you can see right now, I'm in the student union, and it's just another one, it's just one of the beautiful places within inside this building. I can't wait for you guys to come see us this fall so I can show you the rest. Have a great day and be safe. 